Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we have something very special. No, it's not patch notes, but it is a roadmap of sorts. This video is going to serve two purpose. One, it's going to serve to inform you of changes that are upcoming to the game for the rest of the year. And two, it's also going to showcase a little bit of a um, guarantee that this information was in fact here. Because I feel like recently we had a, an issue where they, they gave us a little bit of information of what to expect. And they gave us kind of a time frame. And then they kind of disappeared on that and it's we've never heard anything since and they've even gone as far as to say that it was misinformation that it existed in the first place so this video is going to serve it's going to be titled a roadmap september 2022 and it is going to uh it's going to be a little bit of a what is the word i'm thinking of it's going to hold accountability that's the word i'm looking for it's going to be it's going to be a little accountability for world of warships legends developers because this video is not going anywhere okay so let's get this started hey legends you ask us to share our development plans daily and we're always hesitant to do so primarily out of fear of over promising and under delivering in a world that's moving incredibly rapidly at times that said, we do have a few features that we're 95 or 94.325%. See, that's just, that's way too specific to me. There's got to be a, an Easter egg to that. Somebody can leave it down in the comments below. Where is this from? Let me know. Certain will be delivered before the end of this year. So read on to find out more. In no particular order, port switching. Yes, indeed, you will finally be able to switch to a different port with preferable lighting or a different backdrop if you don't enjoy whatever we're using for the current update at the time. This has been a thing that's been on, on PC for years. I don't know why it's taken this long for Legends to finally include this. So thank you for that. Extended service record. This has been one of the most requested features since the game first became available. In this case, it's much better to show than tell. But keep in mind that what you see is a prototype, and while the prototype doesn't show it yet, we do plan to have individual ship statistics available as well. Finally! Thank you! Again, this is something that we know you guys have tracked, so why has it taken this long to add it to the game? We're three years into the development, over three years at this point, into the development of the game. Why are we just now getting some of these basic features? This is one of the frustrating things about this game is that it just seems like they're always willing to put out new content as long as it makes them money, but all of the, you know, the quality of life stuff has just fallen on deaf ears. So I'm glad to see that they're finally adding some things. And honestly, it looks good. It looks good. You get to see your combat profile, whether you're a cruiser main, battleship main, carriers, destroyers, potentially others if they show up at some point in the future. Um... Your win rate, battles, all this stuff. You've got your top five ships played, your win rate in those ships, as well as they're going to add, you know, specific ships in here at some point where you can go through and look at your stats for each of the ships you played. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I actually enjoy this quite a bit. Uh, service record as well. Your top three played tiers. Um, your top three played nations. Mine's probably going to be the United States, obviously. This person obviously likes to play Japanese cruisers. Just saying. So, I'm interested to see, for sure. Uh, I don't see anything else here that's, that's out of the ordinary, but I am definitely looking forward to seeing how everything works out. And this, the biggest, the biggest thing out of this entire thing, if you take one thing away, it's this. Training rooms are finally coming. For sure, by the end of the year. Within 94.325% chance by the end of the year. Training rooms. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but there are some important caveats. The initial target was to bring in the clan social feature, which is being actively worked on, but our resources unfortunately allow for just one of the two features to be delivered in 2022. We weighed the clan social component against the training room and asked ourselves which would be better without the other. The training room felt like an obvious answer. No kidding. 
as a way to help new players or just give players the ability to experiment with different builds, new and old ships, commanders, and really anything you can put your mind to. Yes, anything you can put your mind to sounds really good, like having a stream where we have uh, an entire training room filled up and we get to have really fun competitive fights uh, or just goofy fights, you know, just some things to get out of the grind of the usual, you know what I'm saying? Now, however, something to be aware of is that training room functionality has a few limitations. Namely, there will be no earnings or spending for that matter, so that's good. There's also no victory or defeat, which is fine with me. And no medals either. Again, fine with me. You will see who scored what in the team result list, but there won't be any economy. That's perfectly fine with me. I, as long as we get training rooms and we get the ability to do the things that we want to do, I am perfectly happy with. Special modernizations. This is another thing that I read that I was like, hmm, I'm interest, I'm intrigued. We can't reveal too much, but let's just say it's going to be something to improve ships you're particularly fond of and will allow you to improve your performance in the heat of battle dynamically. Now, what this sounds like to me is on PC, there are certain commanders that if you complete a certain objective during a match, whether it be getting first blood or killing three ships or, or setting ten fires or, or something along those lines, then you get a buff to your ship that remains for the rest of the fight. So, I'm interested in seeing what this is in actuality. Now, that's all speculation, keep that in mind. But whatever their plan is, I'm intrigued. And I can't wait to see what they bring out. Next, we have the Halloween mode. This is the most obvious and closest feature, clearly, because it's next month. While we're not reinventing the wheel here, we're refining the previous iteration of the Halloween operation by adding various difficulty levels and the ability to improve your special commanders along the way. You'll also get some spicy new visuals for both factions of the conflict and get to try out a new set of ships while dealing with the forces of evil. Awesome. Finally, when it comes to ships, there will be a few interesting, cool, and outright weird entries until the year ends. While it may be anticlimactic for us not to name any of them right now, you may still see them being tested by us and the super testers in regular legendary waters. So keep an eye out. So this tells me that by the end of the year, we're getting some new legendary ships and or potential tier eight ships. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring in here as well. So I'm looking forward. We hope that's enough food for speculation. Keep your eyes peeled and turn the tide. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you guys excited? I am definitely excited. Also, this ship looks very, very familiar to me. I can, I can speculate on one of the Halloween ships right now. So interesting. I'll give them that, but uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you guys excited? Is there something that is missing from this roadmap? Let me know. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.